Hey everybody, this is Ryan, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Shoutouts. And uh, I always like to start these off with a little bit of channel news, and then I get into the shoutouts. And uh, really only two things for channel news this week. One is uh, a little bit of hate on the uh, Stopping the Darkness map. And um, I, I really disagree with it. Um, I mean, is it the greatest map I've ever played? No, it's not. Um, and I think a lot of people look at it as in it's not the greatest thing ever. Therefore, it immediately sucks. <laughs> and uh, I, just, I really don't think that's fair. Uh, the story of Red Cloud set the bar so incredibly high. I mean, that... That map was phenomenal. If I would have paid for that, if that would have been a standalone game, I would have been satisfied with that. That is how much I enjoyed the story of Red Cloud. You know, it had length and a great story, and it had the whole Dark Souls element, and it just, that was an amazing, amazing map. And to expect um, other people to you know, either match that or put out, you know, a better map. And that is, that's just incredibly unfair to everybody. It's unfair to, to compare it to it. And so, um, I don't know, that's just, that's my opinion. I mean, maybe, maybe that's not what people are doing, but that's just kind of uh, my thoughts on it. I mean, I, I think it's, it's a good map. It's a solid map. There's a, a good story and there's funny parts and there's you know, adventuring and hidden things. And it's a hell of a lot better than anything I can make. I mean, why do you guys think that I make videos on stuff and not create stuff? Because I am incredibly uncreative. <laughs> so, yeah, I hide on this side of it and I stay completely away from the other side of it because I could not even come remotely close to what, what those people do. So that's just kind of my thoughts on the hate for the Stopping the Darkness map. The other is, uh, put up a Borderlands video this week, and I kind of, I like it. I, I don't kind of like it, I do like it. it. It's doing about what I expected it to do view-wise. I think it was like at 185 or 200, something like that, um, as I'm recording this. And, um, that's, that's about what I expected. And, and I'm, I'm completely fine with that. It's a, it's a solid video. And, um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say about it. So, I'm gonna make another one, uh, probably next week as I continue leveling up my Gunzerker to try to get to level 50, so then I can try to kill some really badass enemies very easily. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get on Steam more as I level him. So, if you are a Borderlands 2 player, and, uh, you maybe want to jump in my game, like, if you're a level 45 and I'm level 14, don't jump in my game. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, it's cool to say hi or whatever, but, you know, I'm, I'm still... I still like to go through and actually play the game and kill stuff and have fun. And if you have a similar level character, that's great, but don't don't just jump in and, and wreck everything. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. And, um, anyway, so I guess that's it. That is it for, uh, channel news. So now on to shoutouts. And to get a shoutout, all you gotta do is leave a comment in this video or any of the videos that I post during the week, and your comment will be up to possibly receive a shoutout. So first we have HappyFace72, and he said the only way he would support Starbound is if they do not abandon it like they did for Terraria, and every game gets abandoned at some point. The reason, once again, this is my opinion, uh, that I think Terraria got so much just incredible fury that, that people had towards it, and it's kind of the reason why I think it got so popular, was the developers were, were right there every step of the way. They were interacting with the community, saying, hey, the, these are our future plans, you know, they're, they were working in people's ideas like on the fly I remember there was one comment somebody posted they're like hey maybe you could put uh numbers up in the the toolbar up in the top left so you wouldn't have to count like oh that's seven so i need to hit seven to go to it and like literally within a few minutes he posted a picture he was like oh you mean something like this so just you know they were so interactive with the community 
and they they shared their future plans which was really the kiss of death because they didn't execute those future plans and so that's why people were so mad but you know their level of involvement that they had is is really you don't see that very often so that's like people really got invested and they really felt a part of everything like they had had a say in stuff and then the developers like all right guys see you later and so everybody just flipped shit <laughs> and i i don't blame people for doing it but at the same time um i didn't expect them to to support that game forever and really you know starbound is terraria 2 um even though uh redigit is like taken uh more of a back role with this one and really just kind of helping instead of being the lead guy but there are definitely team members from terraria that are actually leading starbound and uh you know a lot of the ideas i shouldn't say a lot but some of the ideas in their future plans that they had shared for terraria are staple features in starbound and so it's really it's terraria too that's what it is and um, I'm absolutely going to support it. I'm going to buy it on day one, and I have no problem with that. And I think it's going to be a really, really fun game. Bloodheart! Uh, this is your first shout-out, by the way. Um, asked if I was going to do the Reborn mod. That is a very popular one to request. I had always said maybe, because it was definitely in consideration for mods. And I kind of decided that no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, this is really the only mod that I've come out and said that I'm not going to do it. And the reason for that is is um, all the drama that went on between Hero and the rest of the modding community. Um, I respect the hell out of Omnir. Uh, I kind of owe everything I have to, to Omnir and uh, his series and his mod. So, because if it wouldn't have been for Omnir... Uh, Almost all of you would not be listening to this right now. Yeah, there's some. Some other people may have come along, but it would be uh, a couple hundred instead of 1,400 or whatever it is. So I owe a lot to Omnir. And um, Omnir has, a, in the past, he kind of shared uh, his thoughts on how everything went down and how Hero uh, treated the other modders. And, um, and I think that the reborn mod is uh is right there with hero like if you at least for me if i think of the reborn mod i think of hero and so i don't want to do the reborn mod not after all the stuff that went down i have too much respect for the the modity why do i keep saying modding for the rest of the modding community to um to do that so sorry if, if you were uh, waiting for the reborn mod i'm really sorry but it's just it's not gonna happen Mr. Genoid, you've gotten tons of shoutouts, wants me to play Zork. And this, this should, I should almost move this to anti shoutouts. <laughs> For those that don't know, Zork is a, a text based game. And you want me to do a video on it. I. What? what I, Zork. <laughs> I really don't think a text based game is going to really draw in uh, a lot of a lot of viewers um, so so no mr. genoid <laughs> I will not play Zork uh, that that was borderline anti shout out oh that was close <laughs> Implagelin Terraria I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Wait till the next name, though. I'm definitely not going to say that one right. Uh, it says, when's the next epi episode of Top Area coming? And it is coming as soon as I record it. Uh, yeah, just haven't recorded it yet. Uh, I need to get on that, though, because I need to finish that. And that'll probably be... There's probably one, only one or two videos left. It's just... It's a, it's a lot of grind to, to get where I need to be to finish that. But I need to do it. You're right. And uh, hopefully it is coming soon. Hopefully. Okay, now there's absolutely no way this one is going to be correct. Um, Razyami Nor Norjai? I mean, come on. Come on. That, that's the closest you're going to get. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and you ask, how many, how many hours have I been playing Terraria? 
And according to Steam, it is 402. And somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but when you play mods, I don't think that counts towards your Steam hours. So I think it's significantly longer than that. If the mods don't count towards the hours, then I almost don't even want to know how long I've played it because probably double. But I, I don't know, maybe they do count. I don't know. I kind of hope they do because, yeah. <laughs> if I spent six, seven hundred hours playing that game, that's, that's a lot. Especially when I say it. That's a lot of hours. Hmm. I really hope that 402 includes mods. I really hope so. In the Borderlands video, I asked uh, who your favorite characters were. Mbot says Scooter, and Mr. X Federico says TK Baja. And I love Scooter and his catch ride! And I was actually sad when, in the first Borderlands, when you went back and TK Baja, spoilers, had been murdered. I was actually kind of sad for somebody that I had met, like, for two minutes. So those are interesting choices on your uh, favorite characters. Scooter, um, yeah. Scooter, I can see a Scooter. TK Baja, well, he, he comes and goes into our lives pretty quickly. But hey, by all means, that's your favorite character, that's your favorite character. And uh, Buddy is a fat cat, welcome back. And don't worry about being late on watching the videos. And that is going to do it for shoutouts this week. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and until next time, see you guys.